What's up guys, it's Kamikaze and I'm back with another video and in today's video we're going to talk about being prepared and what equipment you should bring if you go dumpster diving or if you want to bring any at all. But before we get any further into the video, I want to explain a little bit why I'm doing this series kind of for the new subscribers or some old subscribers that are still curious about dumpster diving, want to know some of my advice, some of my tips, you know, all that jazz. I don't know why I said that, but I thought I'd do it in this format. Probably going to maybe release these more weekly or something like that. So anyways, let's get on to it. The video. All right, so you know what spot you're going to hit up. You're going to hit up GameStop. You're going to hit up half price books. You're going to hit up Target. I don't know. Whatever retail store that wastes stuff, throwing things in the dumpster that are like brand new items. You know where you're going to go, but you don't know the next step. How do you get prepared and how are you going to do it? The first things you should think of, the equipment. How are you going to go? Are you going to go by yourself or are you going to go with somebody? These are the two main things you should think about next, in my opinion. Some people like to go by themselves, as I do, but sometimes I bring somebody. Or you can bring somebody and it's probably a lot easier. I would say the only reason it'd be easier with somebody is someone can look out for you or you can find things a lot faster. There are a lot of benefits of having someone with you and it's probably a lot more fun. But, going by yourself, it's a little risky. You're gonna have to be more alert. You're gonna have to make sure you are more aware than usual because you're by yourself and any little noise can maybe distract you. It's probably a better idea that you don't go by yourself. But, going by yourself isn't a bad thing. If you're gonna go with somebody, it's probably a lot safer if you go by yourself. Just know what you're gonna get yourself into when you're going by yourself. The risk and other uh, crazy things that might happen when you're by yourself. So just be aware of that. Now let's get into the equipment and what are you gonna bring with you? You don't wanna go dumpster diving naked. The top essentials that I think you should have with you at least is a lamp or a flashlight. I don't know why I said lamp, but I was gonna say headlamp. Some gloves and some dirty clothes. Some extra things you can bring with you is probably hand sanitizer and maybe extra boxes to put your dive finds in, makes it more organized, and your car doesn't get so messy. Otherwise, just throw it in your car. I don't really care. But that's just what I do. Now, bringing a flashlight or a headlamp, most importantly, is probably the best bet just because your hands free makes diving a lot easier. You got more control of how the angle is for your light, depending on what kind of headlamp you have. And they're pretty inexpensive. They're not too expensive. I would say the most expensive I've seen that's decent enough is like $10, but you could probably get one for like six or $4, somewhere in that price range. Gloves, we know that's pretty much a self-explanatory thing. You don't want to cut yourself. You don't. Obviously, if you don't know what's in the dumpster, gloves are probably your best bet. And dirty clothes. You want to wear dirty clothes. You don't know what's in the dumpster again. It helps protect yourself. And, I don't know, you can look cool. A dumpster bandit. I don't know. So that wraps up in today's video. Hopefully I got enough information for you guys to go off of. Basic, very basic information for dumpster diving. I know I could probably get more detailed with it, but we're just sticking to the basics for now. My next video, I'm probably gonna talk about maybe some more dumpster dive questions. We'll see. And until next time, guys, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.